Greetings, welcome back to Southwar RC and this morning we are out with the Femi, the Femi A3, the 1080p drone that is, well, very anticipated by this channel, certainly. Let's, um, let's see if we can get her in the air. We've got her controllers on, we're going to turn the drone on. There she goes. She has green on the rear right and red on the green, uh, rear left and then the white. There we go, we are bound. I don't know whether you'll be able to see that there because that's quite glary, but it's giving you a sort of a, a pre-flight check there. Battery voltage, your maximum speed, return to high, return to home altitude, uh, stick mode, etc., etc. Press any key to exit. Okay, so now we need to go into settings and go down to calibration, and um, we want. Compass calibration, RC calibration, gimbal calibration, compass calibration. Keep away from metal objects and strong magnetic fields. Okay. Oh shit, dropping the drone. Okay, that's beeping. That's telling me the compass calibration has been completed. 100% exit. Uh, gimbal. No, I don't think. Fuck off. That was the drone set in a. GPS point. Now have nine satellites linked. Okay, yeah, we're going to return home, blah, blah, blah. Now then, I want to get into my GPS mode settings. Uh, limit of flight altitude, 120 meters distance. We want to take that down to 200 meters for now. Altitude, yeah, that's that's trying to pick that up. That's good. Right. Okay. Well, nothing left to do. Let's see if we can get this little girl in the air. So, intelligent flight settings, auto takeoff. The drone will automatically rise to a height of four meters. Okay. Wow, nice and stable. Look at her there. So let's bring it down and do a walk around. And let's hit record. And we're now recording on the video. There she is now, I say, there is a, a wind coming in towards, straight towards her uh, at about seven miles an hour gusting to 10 or 15 but it's not too bad we've got a bit of a tree line here today that is pretty smooth she is wandering a little bit in the wind but it's very quiet you can hear me talking pretty well I hope it's, uh, it's a very quiet little quad okay well let's give us some altitude very nice slow response on the sticks there with tiny inputs Spin around. Right. Well, nothing much else to do but give us an attitude. Sending her up. Sending her out a little. Get a hold of there. Now the sun glare is quite bad, the, the uh, screen isn't quite as bright as it could be. I might have to look and see if there's any settings to do anything about that. Let's turn around to face me. And then let's pin, pan the gimbal down. And there we are. <laughs> Excellent. Hello. Marvellous. Right, let's bring it down and see if we can test out some of these functions. Okay, still recording. We are still recording. Okay, right, let's get into uh, Follow Me. 
the drone will follow me automatically make sure the field is open short press on the home the tent to home button now she should be now following me and she is <laughs> rather successfully you can change the distance and the range but she's now essentially following me keeping me in the frame as we walk and talk that's quite good and with the gimbal there you're getting much less of that jerkiness that you would do with a Z5 or a DE25 look at that that's lovely okay and let's try we've got plenty of room dog walker there 50 meters away at the moment let's try orbit mode fly above the, the interest point okay I am the interest point use a picture of the radius make sure the field is open short press on and now that should start to orbit I've got to give it a speed yes you give it a speed input and it'll orbit at the speed you input at and you can move the distance and the altitude as well let's move the camera down so you can see me <coughs> wow that's a really nice smooth orbit isn't it as I say you can increase the speed just by moving the, the stick that's a message of some description I can't read battery's still good on the drone and on the transmitter that's outstanding and it exit that raise the gimbal back up exited smart flight Wow, that's a really nice function. Okay, what else have we got in here? We've got auto landing, takeoff, orbit follow me, selfie mode, not sure what that is, headless mode, fixed wing mode, we won't be trying out. Uh, cinematic mode, the stable flight altitude. Okay, so that's essentially DJI uh, tripod mode. Okay, well, let's go and get some footage in tripod mode, shall we? Let's stop that recording and start another one. Recording in cinematic mode. Now the little nav lights I can still see flashing on the rear of the drone. And we are, if I hold that there, we are currently at 13 meters moving out. Cinematic mode, very slow, very stable, nice and smooth. Okay, let's get out of that. Cinema, cinematic mode exited. Right, let's bring her home. Now she is rated to uh, I think it's 18 meters a second in sports mode which is roughly 30 35 miles an hour um, obviously she won't be doing that sort of speed in normal mode so give it all the way up it is just checking so let's give it so you can hear she's so quiet really really nice Let's get a good look at her. See that gimbal dangling around at a very slight different angle to the to the drone, compensating for the wind there. Very nice indeed. So quiet as well, I'm quite impressed with that. Well, this is just a short flight test. We've done a couple of mode tests and I will be doing uh, much better full videos of the uh, of the, the follow me and the 
active track, etc., whatever modes it's got. But for now, from a very happy South Shore, I'll see you on the next one.